What's good, family? This is Sykes. Welcome to Special Delivery, where today we have some Crocs. Even though I hate them, we go unbox these jumps still. I can't believe y'all really got me doing this. Like, What's good, family? It's your boy Sykes, and you are looking live at another episode of Special Delivery. Thank y'all so much for being here, man. We appreciate you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so y'all can know whenever the fire content is coming out on our channel, just like what we got today, which I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I, I don't really like the shoes that we have on here today. I don't, I don't really like them. Look, we got some Crocs on set today, right? This is, this is my worst nightmare. We have Crocs on set and not just any Crocs, but the Salehi Bimbery Crocs, the joints that just came out last week. And people are going crazy over these joints. I don't really understand it personally. I've never really gotten the whole Crocs vibe, but here we are, man. And half of y'all will tell me that I'm tripping. The Crocs are great. Like this is a whole vibe. And the other half of you will probably agree with me, but that just goes to show us how polarizing Crocs are now today. And this is a sneaker now, or not even a sneaker, but a clog that Salehi Bimbery literally has his fingerprints all over. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. But before we get into it, y'all know what it is, man. We gotta unbox these joints, so let's do it. All right, let's let's see what these things is hitting on, man. Let's see, let's see what Salehi talking about. Okay. Yeah, these are ugly. <laughs> this is it. This is an ugly shoe, man, like. It is very fitting that I've always called Crocs thumbs on feet, cause like, bro, like, this this literally is a fingerprint. Like this is a, this is a fingerprint. It's such an ugly piece of footwear, man. From just the the color, like the slime green color, which also kind of makes it interesting to me to to the uh, the fingerprint design on these things that we'll get to in a second. But you see, like I said, you have the slime green on here, which is actually uh, the the crocodile colorway of the Salehi Croc. Right here, actually, in this other box, we have this um, this white Stratus colorway right here, which is is also a little bit interesting, but. In general, you see like this 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 clog has the same build as your regular croc clog, right? It's the same sort of uh, you got the footbed right here on the inside, you got the forefoot area that, that has the perforations in it. Like it's it's pretty much the same, but there are some key differences on these things that, that make these unique. So right here you see you got your strap right here. It's not the same uh, sport mode strap that you would have on your regular run of the croc. You can actually unlatch this from this Velcro right here and uh, adjust it as you as you see fit. And it, it actually has it on, on both sides. And this is actually a removable strap, so I won't do it right now because I just struggled to do it a second ago. But you can pop this out and just remove the strap and just go about your day, which like gives it kind of a, a mule-ish vibe, I guess, to this thing, right? But but then uh, the, the more interesting part to me, and, and maybe my favorite part about this thing is actually the durability aspect of it. So you see right here on the toe, you've got this rubber right here, right? Which is something that you don't typically see on a regular run of the croc. Like generally you'll have all the all the, the foam material, but, but none of the rubber, right? But right here, you got the rubber on the toe stretches into the outsole right here in the uh, forefoot area right here. So you see you've got more rubber right here and then you got some in that back heel area as well. Um, and then you just got that that same uh, foam material right here where the arch of your foot is. So this actually gives the wear a little bit more uh, durability and wearability out of these things. So this should last way longer than your typical uh, croc clog, which I think is pretty interesting. You see right here, you got the, the same uh, perforations in the um, the forefoot area, just on the top of the foot and then on the sides, just like you would have on your, your regular run of the croc. But what really makes this thing unique to me is the design of it. So I see said that Salehi's fingerprints were all over these things and I meant that quite literally. So the design of this croc is actually based on three of Salehi Bembry's fingerprints fused together to make this this design which like you can kind of see in some of the grooves that are really all over the shoe and like when you hold it up like this you can kind of see where like this is like the swirl of the fingerprint and it goes out like a regular fingerprint so like this really looks like a, a thumb y'all like it really looks like a thumb and you can actually see on the box right here 
you got that that fingerprint vibe as well so you, you just got that all over the shoe man but like i said this this is just this is such a, a polarizing design it's it's exactly what salehi bimbri will give you man like this is a outdoors croc yo like that it's it's pretty crazy but it follows that salehi blueprint with like the Yurt 574 and the, the 2002 R's that he's given us and everything like that. So this, it's, it's polarizing, but it, it's also functional. So I, I don't know, man, it, it's, this is weird, but it's so Crocs, right? Like it's so on brand because you either love Crocs or you hate them. And in my case, I, I tend to hate these. Let, let's talk about that a little bit for a second. If y'all had told me back in like 2010 that people was gonna be wearing Crocs 12 years later and it was somehow gonna be considered cool or hype, like, honestly, I probably would have roasted you because that's what you did back in the day when people liked Crocs. Like, this was not something that you was wearing to be cool or, or to be, I don't know, accepted. It was something to, to be roasted. This was like the thing that my grandma wore or something like that, right? Like the lunch lady or something. like. You wasn't supposed to wear Crocs to be cool, but now fast forward 12 years later, all the homies wearing Crocs and now somehow I'm the weird one. And I, I just, don't, I don't know when this, this happened or really how this happened, but when you really dig in and, and think about it, like it, it kind of makes sense why people like Crocs so much, even though I'm, I'm being such a hater right now. These are very comfortable pieces of footwear. Like that's, that's where it starts, right? Like you can stand in your feet on these things, all day long but then on top of that you get all these different colorways that they come in and then they have the gibbets that makes them customizable even though i don't really understand that concept of putting like little magnet looking things in my shoes and then they're also very affordable right like you can get like three and four pairs of crocs for like the same cost of like a new balance 990 v4 or something like that right like they're they're super affordable and then on top of that they've also got all these hype collaborations now y'all like they're working with folks like Justin Bieber and Post Malone and randomly Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And now they've got somebody like Slahi Bimbri in pocket making really cool designs like this one for people. Like even somebody like me who is a Crocs hater, I can even appreciate what this design is and, and what it looks like. I, I think this is like, this is all right. Like it's ugly, but Salehi touched it. So I'm, I'm like, okay, cool. Salehi's my guy. I, I, I support things that he does. So like this is, this is bringing me over. And that's how you kind of win people over a little bit with, with the brand, right? Like you work with people that, that other folks enjoy and that brings them over to your brand. And, and that's how Crocs has kind of been getting down. And honestly, like it's work to a T. Crocs is literally setting trends now. You look at what the rest of the industry is doing, like Yeezy with the Foam Runner or Fear of God with the California Clog or Merrill with whatever that, that weird water thing is that they made. Like it's just as ugly as, as these joints right here. But you can see like the, the trends are being set and this is kind of looking like what the future of footwear will be, which to y'all, it's probably great, but to me, it's, it's kind of my worst nightmare. So I, I don't know, man. Congrats to y'all on uh, getting getting your clogs. Like, shout out to them. I, actually, you know what? I want to talk about how I got these joints, how me and Janelle, my super producer in training with my guy Evan Thorpe, got these joints. Like, we, we literally sat in line for five hours to get these joints, bro. Like, that, yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. So me and Jay really stood in line for five hours for these, bro. Like we, we, all right, so here, here's how it went. We woke up in that morning and we saw that somewhere DC, which is a, a boutique that's out here in the city, we saw that they were gonna have these Crocs and Janelle wanted these Crocs for a minute. My fiance wanted these Crocs for a minute. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like we'll, we'll go up and, and then we'll record the show afterward. Cause we record on Tuesdays and I'm like, all right, cool. We got there early enough. The, the store don't open till 10. We was there at eight o'clock. The line wasn't, it wasn't nothing crazy. But as we were standing in line, the line just started to get wider instead of longer, y'all. And y'all know what that means, man. People was cutting in line. And I was like, yo, what's happening? And then people was like, yo, uh, the, the other store, there's another somewhere DC location and in, um, in Navy Yard, but that's a little too inside baseball for y'all. Y'all don't, don't know, know where uh, Navy Yard is, but they were coming from the other location 
and getting in the line at our location and they already had the Crocs, y'all. There were people who had like four, five, and six pairs of these Crocs in their trunk already coming to cut in line to get Crocs before us. And it was just like, yo, like this is the most frustrating thing ever. I totally forgot how frustrating it was to stand in line for a hype release. And me and Janelle were just like, yo, like, is this, is this really happening? But we waited from, like I said, 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. and finally got in the store. We got the Crocs, we was good, but it was, it was a battle, y'all. It was a battle. It was definitely a battle. I, I don't know, I, I tell y'all all the time to stand outside, and Janelle was telling me this in line. She was like, yo, you tell people to stand outside in line all the time. You gotta be about this. And I'm like, you right, you right, Jay. So we, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, we had a good time, but it was rainy and I, it was just, it was just, it was nasty outside. I, I, 10 out of 10 will recommend you standing in line, but also 10 out of 10 would not recommend y'all standing in line in the rain for five hours for, for some Crocs, not, not for the Crocs. But anyway, fam, that's a wrap for special delivery. I'm your boy Sykes, and this is Salehi Bembry's Crocs. We'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Special Delivery. Make sure you like and subscribe to catch future episodes of Special Delivery. And in the comments, let us know when the last time you stood outside for some sneakers was, because I ain't gonna lie to y'all, this will probably be my last time.